Dita von Tis tako je pomislimo na retro stil, eleganco in izjemno prefinjen okus. Porcelana sta pout, vranje črni lasje z modrikastim odbleskom, škrlatno rdeče ustnice in zelo upadljiv stil. To je Dita. Kako je postala tako glamurozna? Kakšne lepotne skrivnosti ima? Kraljica burleske in motna oblikovalka je zdaj tudi pisateljica. S pomočnico Rosa Podaka sta izdali Your Beauty Mike, nekakšen vodič po ekscentričnem glamurju, pol namigov in zanimivosti. Kako Dita doživlja lepoto? Tako le pravi. Všeč so mi zgodbe v grdih račkih, posameznikih, ki so postali glamurozni na drugačen, nepozaben način. Naravna lepota me ne zanima. Bolj se me dotaknejo edinstveni ljudje, ki so se spremenili v labode, ker imajo svoj prav poseben stil. Všeč so mi nevsakdanje značilnosti in ekstravagantna lepota, ki ni tako pogosta in je zanimiveša, kakor lep vidaz. Skrbim za svojo individualnost, rada imam eleganco, nežnost in radodarnost. Brez tega ni lepote. Dita se je zapisala med nepozabne ikone še posebi z nekaterimi prizori. Recimo, ko se guga na luni, ko sedi na lesenem koničku na vrtiljaku in ko se namaka v velikanskem kozarcu kot popolna imitacija ogromne olive v Martinjevem koktajlu. Vse to se dogaja na odru v soju žarometov in pred očmi obiskovalcev nočnih klubov. Dita von Tiz je kraljica burleske, ameriškega žanra. Gre za neke vrste varjetejsko predstavo. Čedna dekleta pojejo, plešejo, se slačijo, otožni komedijanti pa pripovedujejo nekoliko zaprašene šale. Dita pa gre še kako v korak s časom. Na 12 cm petah je visoka več kot 180 cm, ima ozek pas in bujno oprsje. Njeno vodilo je retro. Burleska je znova priljubljena in na revija intervju je celo posvetila na slavnico. Največja prednost je ta, da so burleske zdaj v ženskih rokah. Z Ditovom ti smo poklepetali na modni reviji Elizabete Franki. Navdušena je nad znamko, saj ima rada prefinjeno oglajeno modo, ki pa udari njene obline. Dita je lepa, prijazna in zelo dostopna. Poglejmo, kaj je povedala. So, Dita, of course, I have to ask you, how is and which is your relationship to fashion? Are you a fashion victim? Do you love fashion? I know that you're very much in lingerie, so how is your relationship? Um, well, I don't know. I don't think much about fashion. I have my own very distinctive style. I don't try to keep up with fashion. I just wear the things that I like that are consistent with my own personal taste. That's nice. You, have, you are here for the Elisabetta Franchi show. Do you know the brand? Do you like it? Yeah, um, I've worn it to several events in the U.S. So um, I've, I've got, had a lot of people asking about what I was wearing when I wore one of her dresses once. And so um, I was very curious to know more about the brand. And it's really nice to be invited to the show. And how would you describe your style, your personal style? Um, you know, I like the look of the femme fatale. I've always liked to... Uh, curvaceous silhouettes and things that are ultra feminine and womanly nothing little girlish um, no mini skirts things like that I like very distinctive silhouettes okay what about the makeup makeup I mean I wear my makeup the same way for 25 years I've always been obsessed with cat eye eyeliner and red lips and you know it's really hasn't changed in 25 years I don't it's a very it comes all always comes back in fashion but I just keep doing the same thing <laughs> I admire very much the fact that you create for women and I think that every woman can feel this when they see the, 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 your style and of course also the lingerie brand so I'd like to ask you which is in your opinion the main mistake that women usually make when they dress um, I think um, sometimes they are trying to keep up with what's new or they see someone else's style and they want to just emulate that but you have to really think about what speaks to you and and start developing a code and then you can build a wardrobe that you can wear year after year after year instead of every year saying oh I need to buy something new and I need a new look I think it's important to um, to be able to watch a show like this and to, to you know to say oh this is for me that's not for me this is for me you know it's very I think learning about your real style is, is the key to, to you know maximizing your wardrobe you are a beautiful woman and I would like to ask you um, if you have of course a general a global advice for all women how to be beautiful as you are <laughs> well I think it's just um, finding the things that make you feel confident that make you feel good about yourself and 
um, instead of thinking about what other people perceive to be beautiful or sexy, you really have to get in touch with yourself. You know, I have people all the time that'll say to me, try to advise me on what I should look like or what I should wear, and it's like, I don't feel comfortable like that, you know? Um, so I think it's really just being very um, steadfast and, and wearing things or styling yourself or wearing your hair and makeup the way that makes you really feel good.